the Supreme Court has aptly described our nation's worst crisis issue today, and I quote, Drug addiction has been one of the most pernicious evils that has ever crept into our society. For those who become addicted to it, not only slide into the ranks of the living dead, but even worse, become a grave menace to the safety and law-abiding members of society." Unquote. Marami sa atin marahil ay hindi nakikita ang mas malalim na dahilan sa pagtitipong ito dahil hindi lubos na naunawaan ng positibong epekto ng pagsira ng shabu sa umagang ito. Let's review our high school math. Ang sisirain natin mamaya, 311.64 kilograms na shabu na nagkakahalaga ng 435.87 million pesos. Hindi magkaibigay yung figures natin, pero sa inyo rin galing ito eh. Bukod sa nagpapakita ng puspusang pagsisigip ng pideya at mga alagad ng batas para mapuksa ang illegal na droga sa bansa, ay mas malalim pang kahulugan na maaring nakakaligtaan natin bigyan ng halaga. Alam nyo, during the Senate hearing do sa pagkapatay kay Mayor Albuera, si Kerwin Espinosa testified. Sabi niya, yung ordinary, yung average na shabu user, ang gamit niya nasa quarter of a gram a day no, ng shabu. So, dalawang uh, gramo kada linggo at walong gramo kada buwan. With, us, with this addiction habit, yung 311.64 or 311,640 grams na i-eliminate natin today translate to a month's drug supply of around 39,000 average drug users. A week supply to 156,000 drug users and a quick fix for a day to over 1.24 million Shabu users. This is thinking as at ways imaginative, but the fact remains that the seizure and destruction of these dangerous drugs will save tens if not hundreds of thousands of lives and families. Needless to say, this more than 300 kilogram, kilograms lost in the illegal drug trade is definitely a million gain for our future generation. Having come from the ranks of the Philippine National Police, my answer has been consistent every time I'm asked on how to effectively combat illegal drugs. Dalawang parang lamang ang aking sinasagot. Una, market constriction. Pangalawa, demand reduction. Sa simple pananalita, walang bibili kung walang magbebenta at walang magbebenta kung walang bibili. Over time, PIDEA has remained steadfast in implementing this two-pronged approach. By and by, you continue to restrict the market by eliminating the supply chain of illegal and controlled drugs and substances. In fact, because of the intensified drug operations launched by this administration, Shabu now costs a fortune. Sabi nga kanina ni ASEC, no? uh, dati 3,000 yung uh, tingi-tingi, ngayon nasa 7,000. So 100%. Ang ibig sabihin nito, talaga napuputol yung supply chain or yung merkado na ko-constrict, ano, na ko-constrict na. If soaring prices serve as a good indicator of the scarcity of shabu in the market, we are indeed making headway. Looking at the figures, PIDEA has a good head start on the first 100 days of this administration. They recorded 7,928 anti-drug operations that led to the arrest of 8,428 personalities, drug personalities, 7,025 drug cases, and the seizure of 8.21 billion worth of dangerous drugs and controlled precursors and essential chemicals. The sequestered 8.21 billion worth of drugs and non-drug evidence in just three months 
is already an unprecedented record high having exceeded the yearly recorded seizures of illegal drugs from 2011 to 2015. Bilang Vice Chairman ng Senate Committee on Finance, na siyang nangunguna sa pagsusuri at pagbabalangkas ng national budget. Hindi ako nag-atubili na padagdagan ang 2017 budget ng PIDEA ng halagang 868 million pesos upang lalo nilang palakasin ang kanilang pagkikbaka laban sa illegal na droga. While we celebrate positive gains through and through, it is a time to sit on our laurels. In fact, amid our unremitting anti-narcotics campaign, organized crimes perpetrated by scalawags in uniform continue to undermine our efforts. Hence, an arduous challenge remains. We should not let a few bad apples spoil the whole bunch. We should fight tooth and nail to break the grip of erring officers within all law enforcement agencies to win back the confidence of the public in our institutions. The surefire way to move forward is to do away with shenanigans and allay public distrust with concrete and measurable achievements. To accomplish that, you have to work on a solid foundation. That foundation is integrity and the test of integrity is of course credibility. As I always say, to ultimately test one's credible standing is to see whether he does what he says, especially under unguarded and tempting circumstances. If a man is truthful and upright in public, but renounces those standards in private, then he lacks credibility because he has no integrity. In the same manner, a PIDEA agent or any public servant who is trustworthy before the media and cameras but forsakes his code of morals and implements double standards when no one is around is not worthy of the public's veneration. Unless law enforcers act with integrity, that is, with highest ethical standards and respect to the rule of law at all times, change no matter how much work you put into it, will remain elusive. Hence, if we intend to remain committed to this cause, we should also fortify parallel efforts to ensure that this is not a battle of the PIDEA alone or of the PNP alone, but more so by all of us. We should all work together to eliminate this menace by all means necessary but with proper regard to and complete respect for the individual rights of all concerned, whether they be the one enforcing the law or the one to whom the law is being enforced. Again, maraming salamat po sa ating lahat. Mabuhay ang PIDEA, mabuhay ang Philippine National Police, at mabuhay ang Sambayanang Pilipino.